welcome everybody and a double mold review because these two molds are related so I'm going to do them both together I'll start off as I normally do uh, it's uh, produced by Diorama Debris it's a silicon rubber mold it's in 135th scale and it's a pier caps well pier caps the mold number is 1350085 it's produced in the UK by RJ Norris now slide that out of there now you can't really see a great deal in there but we can see it comes uh, into a point on the top of the actual pier cap that is about as much as we can actually see now you get one a brick and a half uh, two bricks two and a half bricks and three and this little bit just here is actually a centralizing tool so when you put your pier caps on you can actually get them in the center so when we cast that out i shall uh, try to demonstrate how they work so that's the first one uh, pier caps now moving on the second one we got is wall copings and we'll run through that as we normally do it's diorama debris it's a ribbon a ribbon a rubber silicon mold it's in 135th scale it's wall copings and the mold number is 1350084 and it's produced in the UK by RJ Norris now I have been peering into this mold trying to find because you do actually get a left hand and a right hand return and you can just barely see it it did take me quite a while it's just there so you've got one that returns round so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten probably eleven twelve ordinary uh, copings and then you've got a left and a right hand return and also it does two end copings as well so you get two that you don't have to put against the pier it will actually uh, tapers off one end so you get quite a good selection in this mold so and like i say there's not a lot you can really see in there i think the best thing for me to do is i'll get off and i'll get some cast and we'll have a look at the parts now i've actually got some parts cast and we'll quickly run through them i've actually got all these parts uh, put onto a, a little wall so you can actually see them in situ but we'll have a, a quick look at what comes out of the mold now on the top row we've got all the pier caps we start off with the larger one which is a three brick a two and a half a two and a one and a half the only thing i will say is this two and a half brick is a bit of a strange one but there you go we also get a little location tool uh, this is to centralize your pier caps this little tool actually works as well on your copings which is uh, a good thing but i will show you that in a second uh detail wise as you can see they're lovely detailed well there's not much there to detail but they're nicely detailed nice and sharp and nice parts that's about all i can say now moving down we've got the standard copings now we've got 13 standard copings uh these were just in you know just locked together uh to go along the wall nice and neatly they do actually and then we've got one finishing coping which has got that taper at the end and then we've got a left and a right hand turn so you can actually turn it on top of the brickwork again nice and crisp and clean no problems with them at all casting them they come out lovely you can actually cast these every 16 minutes uh because you can actually take them out of the mold even before they really properly dry you can just turn the mold over and they will fall onto a surface flat surface leave them to finish off drying while you get on with the next batch very very quick uh material wise on it we used well it's six mils uh, of water and 12 mils of casting powder per mold 
I was doing a double batch, so I was doing a 12 and 24, which made it a little bit easier to mix because if you do do your molding, you know how difficult it is just to do six mils of water. It's very difficult. So I was casting them both together. Uh, color, coloring, all I used was a black green. Yes, a black green because concrete isn't grey, most people think it's grey, it's not, it's green and uh, it gives you, the black green gives you a, a real nice effect I can't remember the, the number of it, but it was Vallejo black green I will put the number on the bottom for those who are interested now, I've already put all these parts onto some walls and that so we'll go from here and we'll have a look at them in situ and it's how I built some walls and some piers and here we go that that's what we've got now we'll start off with with the piers now we have a, a three pier three brick pier we have a two brick pier and we have a one and a half now the molds that you actually get for making piers from diorama debris only contain the three the two and the one and a half and I did say earlier on that the one and well sorry two and a half pier cap was a little bit of a strange one because it is because there's nothing else there that it actually matches up with. To create a pier, you're going to need to use two of the brick and a half to create a two and a half brick pier. Now, to me, it starts getting messy. It starts getting uh, you're not going to get a good result by you having to use two of them smaller pieces so I don't know if that was just something to fill the mold up with or not I'm not sure but they fit the piers that they've already done fantastically they look good I'm impressed with them it's just that one is a little bit of a unknown also we actually get this little uh, centralizing tool now it's a very very easy tool to use and it's a very clever little tool all we do is we place it on the side of your piers or brickwork and you actually just bring your pier cap so it's nice and level with it and you do it on the opposite side like so and then it centralizes your cap it's in perfect center of the pier brilliant it is a brilliant little tool also another good thing about it is that this tool can actually be used on your copings exactly the same way and that will centralize your copings to the center of the wall a good little tool but you will be casting one of these off every time you do your pier cap so you're going to end up with uh, to me a lot of little bits that are left over but it's very useful for the modeler that's only doing, uh, you know, this now and again, and it can easily be discarded, but that's my views. So that's the pier caps. They look great. Fantastic. We move on now to the copings. Copings are good. They look good. Uh, they go down nice. There is no problems at all with them. If you use this little tool, uh, on the actual joints as you're laying them you will actually get nice straight lines which uh, makes it nice and easy the only other thing that I will point out and this is more for well for me I would take a bit more time on actually sanding the tops that you're actually going to put these on uh, I did it very quickly and there was a few uneven parts and you get little lips but that's the model and not the actual uh, part. We have uh, the right hand turn to return it round, which works beautiful. And the left hand one does exactly the same. We also have the two finishing uh, copings. So you can just finish that on a straight wall. Very nice, look good. And they do do the job perfectly all in all I'm very impressed with the copings they look really good and that's about as much as I can say about it and 
what I will do now, I will try and do some close up pictures, uh, the corners and the pier cuts and everything, and just tag them on to the end uh, so you can get a, a better view because it's, it's they're very difficult to uh, video actually. And what I will say now is thank you very much for joining me, and hopefully, we'll see you on the next one.